Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to do a project using varied vases. There's a couple of examples here. One is on a 5x5 five five, and this is on a 4x4 four four inches with several mats. This is using the Stamparatus and using the Wreath Builder technique. The Varied Vases has a coordinating punch and a stamp set with vases, flowers, lovely sentiments and work together perfectly. And the Stamping Chamois is something I'm using all the time now as it's a great cleaning tool. So we're going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is 4 inches by 4 inches. And using the Stamparatus and a template. If you look back in a previous video, you can see how to make this, but it's very easy. I put it on acetate because it's easy to clean off and wipe, so it can be used again and again. So we're going to line up the 4 inch by 4 inch on the marks and we're going to take the lovely little flower and position this in the centre close to the top. The stamp case works perfectly underneath to support the hinge. We're using Tranquil Tide and we're going to ink it up, press it down and then rotate it one turn, ink up again and continue in this manner all the way round the card. It's a very easy and quick step to do. Just positioning it, putting the magnet in the centre, inking up and pressing. Working our way round, we will end up with eight beautiful flowers positioned exactly round of the card. Now using our chamois, taking it out of the case, just folding it in two, we can wipe the area down very easily and quickly. There's also another video if you look back showing you all the details of the lovely chamois. So we're now going to take the second flower and again starting off positioning it vertically and again putting it up quite near to the top. Excuse my head coming into the shot. Picking it up with the hinge and again using the tranquil tide, inking up, pressing firmly and rotating it a quarter and working all the way around in the card. So you have eight of the second flower image. Now this is a two-step stamp, but today I'm going to use our blends. I took a variety of colours because I didn't know exactly what I was going to use, but I thought I would start with the light pool party. And again the blends are very easy to use. You don't need to press hard, 
just very lightly stroke down each one of the little flowers. We're rotating it every other flower in the pool party and just colouring very simply. The blends are absolutely lovely. You can blend in several colours but for this particular card I just wanted one colour in each one. When you're doing small images remember to not press very lightly, um, very heavily at all. Very light little strokes and they will fill it in perfectly. So the second colour we're going to use is the light Bermuda Bay. Each one of the stamping blends comes in a light and a dark so you can choose exactly which colour you want to blend in with any project and you can also use them together to get highlights and lowlights. So again working round with very light strokes, colouring in each one of the little flowers. So I decided to use on this one the light Calypso Coral because I thought it would blend with the other colours perfectly. So this time we're just going round the outside of the flower, leaving a little white space in the middle. And again the blends having such a lovely sharp point make it very easy to do this. So the three colours that I chose were the light, the dark pool party, the light Bermuda Bay and the light Calypso Coral. Now using the stitch shape framelits, we're going to cut a little circle out of Whisper White. And with the punch, with any scraps of paper, I always try and punch quite a few out. So with a mat in the mint macaron and then a white mat, each one goes up a quarter of an inch and then a mat in the tranquil tide. Mint macaron and tranquil tide go beautifully together. And the little flat, um, vase I chose was mint macaron because I thought that that would match perfectly with the mint macaron mats. So now we're going to do another little flower to go inside the vase and we're choosing the hanging orchid. This time I'm going to stamp it on one of our acrylic blocks. So using a piece of Whisper White and the Tranquil Tide ink again We're just going to stamp it out and again colour it in with the light Calypso Coral blends. I'm also just going round the outside of the flower, leaving a little bit of white space in the centre. Using our paper snips, we're going to fussy cut this out. So let's go and we're going to snip the bottom off because we don't like, want the full length. And let's go and put this card together. I use Tombow glue because it is my preferred glue because it allows a little bit of wiggle room. And using the grid paper, it's very easy to line things up perfectly. So we put the Tranquil Tide mat on first, followed by the Whisper White. 
Don't worry about all the measurements because they will be below in the description box and also across on my website. All details again will be below in the description box. Then the mint mac are on. I never waste anything so I cut the circle out of this because when it's all together you're not going to be able to see that you've cut something out of that mat. You can see that the blends bleed through so always make sure that you put them on a mat of some sort. Then taking the stitched shape framelits, one in the mint macaron, and the other in the whisper white. You could put these on with dimensionals, but if you're posting and don't want too much height, then it's easier to just stick them down. Then we're going to use our dimensionals. We have two sizes, standard and mini, and I tend to use them both in conjunction all the time. So on the vase, we're going to use a large at the bottom of the vase, and a little mini at the top. And on the hanging orchid, we're going to use a little mini for a little added dimension. And we're also going to use some Tombow because this is quite a fragile little piece you want it to stick down as well as have a little dimension. So we're going to position the vase where we want it without taking the dimensionals off and then we can put the orchid stem inside so that it lines up perfectly. Put it down with a dimensional and just stick it down carefully. Excuse my dog barking in the background of the bin men have just arrived. So we're going to put the little vase down, lining it up perfectly. And now we have all of our cards. All of them slightly different, all of them using, using the wreath technique. Thank you so much for watching me today and I do look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.